Here we got this graduating class, 236 total students. And out of those 236, 142 are taking algebra. And 121 are taking chemistry. So when we have these overlapping sets, how many take both? The idea is to draw this Venn diagram. And so in this circle, we'll have the algebra students. And in this one, we'll have the chemistry students. Now we want the greatest possible number in the middle. We know that this total number, that is this plus this, has to equal 142. Now we only have 121 total in chemistry. So let's just say we had 21 over here. Then we would have 100 here, we would have 42 over here. Now this works, we could definitely have this scenario. And the little trick here is these numbers do not have to add up to 236 students. There's nothing saying that a lot of these students didn't take either of them. So we could have this other outside the circle could be the remainder of students who didn't take either. But let's go back to our numbers here, 42, 121. Is there any way for me to increase this? Could I, for instance, put another student from here into the middle? Sure. I could make this 20, and that would give us one more. That would be 101, and this would be 41. Of course, we really don't care about this too much. We just care about the middle here. But wait a sec, why am I doing it incrementally? Why don't I just put the entire 20 in here so that we end up having 121 in the middle? That is those that take both algebra and chemistry. And of course, that will leave the remainder over here that only take algebra, but we don't care about them. We care about this number, the greatest possible number that take both, and that's 121. So that's what you enter into the box.